here we are, another month has come into view. For those of you joining and who don't know me yet, I'm Jen Balco. I'm the founder of Always On My Way. And we do these sessions every month on the first Monday of the month to kind of feel into the mood of the month, to, to gauge kind of what's happening around us and how we can carry this energy with us through you know, the next few weeks. And we do this with a few minutes of movement and a few minutes of meditation, and then a few minutes of having uh, some journaling prompts that you can take with you, that you could muse about while you move through this month. So just as I'm kind of getting that all set up, just coming into our space for a moment. And, you know, this, this has actually been a little bit hard for me to show up. Uh, today and in the group for a little while, for a few weeks now, I am feeling uh, I'm feeling that I'm very much in a period of inter inner winter, and my body for sure, but also my heart and my creative chutzpah really is in a period of slowing down. I have had a very, very productive five years <laughs> and the last 18 months have been quite intense bringing to life two books. Uh, this one, which is uh, one year old in September, was one year old in September and the in-between that's behind me over there that went live, um, that was published in June of this year. So yeah, I created a second book six months after the other one. This is a, the Fierce Awakenings is a collaborative book but that was, um, and then producing Fierce Awakened Woman Creativity Jams and classes and courses. So I came back uh, from vacation in August and I just, September was really a slow month and my mind has really slowed down a lot. And that's what I'm gonna bring into the session today is this idea that the theme that we can work with today, hold on, I just made a note about it because I didn't want to forget how I wrote it in the Facebook group, but the the intention for this month, and you'll be invited to create your own uh, intention and what you want to focus on this month, but for the Fierce Awakened Woman community, I'm bringing in this idea that I am safe to explore my inner world and I am safe to know all the parts of me. I am safe to explore my inner world. And I am safe to know all the parts of me. And this was really important for me these last few weeks because my mind was in negative self-talk, talking about how I did not have the time to slow down how I was feeding my own unworthiness by taking rest, which is, if you're in this community, you know that's not true. And you're probably doing quite a bit of self-development work where rest is critical and important. So I even, this is my second um, inner winter reminder. I had a red thread bracelet on uh to remind myself that I can slow down, that it's okay, that I can explore what my inner self needs now at this stage. And they can seasonally follow rhythms that are inviting me to slow down, whether it's because it's fall where I am or more that because my body is really craving a period of fallow field where I can be creatively unproductive. So that's where we're going today with this. And inviting you to also feel that, to feel that you are safe exploring what your body, heart, and mind, soul, spirit need right now, and that you are safe to know these parts of you. You don't have to do anything about them. Just simply being aware and noticing them will be really, um, what's the word I'm looking for here? It will be sort of an exercise in releasing yourself from 
these shackles that we put on ourselves, the shackles that I put on myself to always constantly show up in the world and do more. So this is just a reminder of that. So I'm just gonna pull up some music. Let me see if I can um, find all these buttons <laughs> here. I do feel like uh, sometimes I'm, they've changed some things on, they've shared, uh, they've changed some things in uh, Zoom. So I'm always a little bit lost now with some of the buttons that are going on, but I'm thinking that this is on now, computer audio is on. I hope I have all the settings right. Sometimes my mic and the music don't work well lately. So we're going to do the best we can. And hopefully it will all come to pass in a good way. That's um, happening here. Let me just check one, one more button here and just make sure I've got everything kind of going. As I'm doing that, feel free to go ahead and... Uh, just create a little bit of space. We're gonna just move a little bit. I am standing close to my mic today. Some of my lavalier mics aren't, con aren't connecting. I, I feel like I need a whole system reboot at the moment. And I don't know what cable is wrong or what device is not connecting well, but it's okay. I have my mic here. I believe that's working well. So just creating a little bit of space for yourself. We're gonna come into movement first. We're gonna do a few minutes of movement. I'm going to do a couple minutes of meditation and you'll be guided throughout. So don't feel like you're going to get lost anywhere along the way here. And then we're going to just, um, I'll leave you with a couple prompts for, for you to carry with you this month. And I'd love to hear what's coming up for you this month and put it in the comments below. All right. So we're going to start. I always like starting this way. See if I got this uh, queued up right. But we're going to just go ahead and shake a little bit. Wherever you are in the day, just loosening up your body. Oh, wherever you need that little bit of movement, all the way down to the tips of your toes, to the tips of your fingers. Coming up with a nice. This is a good way to reset your nervous system and just to kind of check in with yourself. And then we're going to go straight right into a grounding movement. And here, we're just going to allow a sense of stillness to come in. I'll be standing up in sort of mountain pose, my feet and toes together my hands kind of just down on my side, shoulders rolling down and back. You're welcome to be in a standing position, maybe in this exact moment for the next two or three minutes, you're in a seated position, or maybe you even wanna lie down for a couple minutes, but just kind of feeling your weight drop, feeling the weight of your body falling down into the earth, feeling that wherever your points of contact are with the floor or with the earth, wherever you are, feeling that that is a support for you. Beginning to move the energy from the earth up into your body, just a little bit of a body scan, moving up from your feet and ankles, your legs, the calves, around your knees, just letting all that feel like it feels, not trying to change anything, moving energy up through your legs, back in front of your legs, and then from the hip joints, connecting all the way, just watching that energy move up your legs to the hip joints, into the pelvic bowl, up through your digestive organs, up into your heart center and lungs, your whole torso, front and back, energy moving up your spine, your shoulders, 
down to your arms, fingers, reconnecting back up to your shoulders, coming up back to your spine and neck. back of your head, forehead, eyes, face and cheekbones, and maybe even putting in a little bit of massage in there, releasing the need to speak. And now just coming into this sense, and there maybe there's going to be a little bit of harmony or disharmony or dissonance in this, and maybe focusing even in that dissonance, and just allowing your body to start putting a sway. So if you're in a seated position, giving yourself the space to stand up. And just focusing a little bit on this dissonance that's there in your body, and in this song that's coming up. Just hearing the echo, and giving yourself a little bit of safety to let your body explore where it feels a little bit tight. It's been in my shoulders and neck today, so just loosening that up. Putting circles into your hips to release any of the stress and tension in your hips. You tend to carry a lot of different emotional baggage in our hips. There's a there. So just give yourself a little bit of space in your area. And then beginning to feel what being safe in your body to know the parts of you feels like. The kinetic feeling of this and how you're to yourself and contract. I saw this great thing on Instagram the other day about how the dahlia flower opens and then just before she opens again, she contracts just a little bit and then opens wider. So imagine how you, in your own nature, can contract and open and then contract again and open some more and then contract again and open wider. Just playing with this energy as you're looking for safety in your body and that this is the way it is. Sometimes before we can take our next big project, our next, next big development lesson, we need to kind of shrink back into ourselves a little bit and contract and feel that tension which isn't always pleasant. I know that this month, for sure. But just allowing yourself to play with this as we kind of transition into playing with this movement and letting our body feel that way. Kind of even putting the tension there and then letting it go, right? Kind of bring that tightness in and really sort of um, exaggerate it a little bit so we can really feel it and maybe using that in different parts of our body like deliberately and intentionally contracting our muscles to know what that feels like and then letting it go and bringing this into however you want to start moving with this just for a couple minutes like how do you want to play with this and when you can make it playful you can release that stuckness your mind will start slowing down a little bit and you're essentially what we're doing always on this channel and on this Facebook group is cultivating a sense of joy and wonder and awe. So allowing yourself to transition into this space. The Josette joined. Hello Josette. Nice to see you. Just playing whatever that feels like for you right now as you are beginning to let your body set your monthly intention. Words are coming up for you as you are looking at this idea, the bigger idea of the collective. I am safe to explore my inner world and I am safe to know all the parts of me. 
How does that come into play for you for October 2024? Give you another minute or so here to let your body kind of feel into that. Following an intuitive feeling of movement. There's no right or wrong way to do this. It's just noticing where your body wants to lead you. to settle that movement energy when we can put some kinetic energy around it it does help i've noticed for me that it helps me ground my mind and heart and my emotions and then i can kind of work with my mind in, a, in another way and that's what we're going to do now just giving yourself that last stretch whatever you need in this last few minutes of movement before we transition into a little bit more of a meditation And moving that out. And now for this next part, you can stay standing. I will, because that's where my mic is set up now. But you are welcome to take a seat for a few minutes or lay down. Whatever feels comfortable and easeful for you. Because now we're going to go and relax our minds into the idea that we could explore a different part of us. So as you come into a nice grounded seat... Focusing first on your breath. Air coming in through your nose. Going out of your mouth. Maybe there's even a sound there in this first couple rounds of breathing. Maybe taking an extra longer inhale. Holding at the top for a second and then ah, just sighing it out. Releasing any tension that might be here. Time through. Each time breathing in, feeling your body relax more, and feeling that your mind is doing what it needs to do. It's going to be thinking, and that's all right. But we're going to focus our thoughts a little bit as we go a little bit more through this. Returning to normal breathing. No manipulation of the breath, just what you do all the time. Eyes may fall closed or stay slightly open, depending on the experience you want to have today. Just allowing yourself to feel this stationary position, the stillness that comes with being stationary. Does your thoughts wander off? Just riding these waves of emotions that might be coming in, noticing what they might be, and naming them. Noticing how one emotion comes in, it's a wave, and then it's released. In this moment, too, beginning to breathe in what is your intention for October? How do you want to feel? this month? How do you want to feel this month? Not what do you want to do this month? How do you want to feel this month? And then breathing in with that, a feeling of safety to explore that. A feeling that your mind is safe to explore that. Because we're working with the limits of our mind as one emotion is coming in on a wave and you're feeling that, allowing your imagination to soar a little bit higher above you and noticing what that bigger landscape looks like. What's bubbling up inside you and then how is it moving out and beyond you? And what kind of ripple does that have? How does that one wave reach the shore that you're seeking? And how does the tide underneath that pull it back out and come back in? Allowing your mind to play with this concept and receiving whatever is starting to come in. Give you a couple seconds here to just feel into the quiet of that, to feel into 
what that feels like. What does that look like? What does it smell like? What do you sense about it? How are you safe to explore all the parts of you and feel all the parts of you that want to be felt now and in this moment? And then as that wave rises back up and falls and dissolves, holding on to whatever feels like the most significant thing for you this moment. Just holding it, not grasping for it. And if nothing comes up, that's okay. We're just creating the space for that to, to allow itself to come in. It may come in at another time. It may come in a dream. It may come in some other aha moment that you have later on. And now taking another breath in and out, just returning back to your breath. normal breathing here you're just connecting again mind body and heart maybe there's a cord connecting it somehow in your body however you're envisioning this maybe there's a little bit of a for me it's a little bit more of a whirlwind like a little bit of a spiral like okay all these things are in motion and in the center of that whirlwind it's still and I can enjoy that and this song is called, well, I have it listed as welcoming whatever else comes in. That's not the name of the song. That's what I named it myself. So just beginning to see now if your body wants to bring in just a little bit more movement, letting your intention, saying your intention out loud to yourself, and if you're in a place to do that, or saying your intention in your mind and letting your body feel that and noticing how that rises up again and rolls off and rolls out and beyond you, allowing your higher vision to have a view of what that landscape is. And again, bring yourself back to the collective idea that I am safe to explore my inner world and I am safe to know the parts of me, all the parts of me. And just noticing what that means, giving yourself go back to what we were just doing where you're you can contract a little and then you can grow a little bit more and then contract again and open a little bit more and contract and open or maybe you can do this forward and backward motion allowing yourself to dip forward and then come back open chested open hearted bring that energy and strength forward and then letting that move in all the way that it wants to move. There's a stretch that comes in so you can reach as high as you can. Maybe even standing on your tippy toes if you're standing up high now. Just letting that move from the tips of your toes to the tips of your fingers in all the directions. It's sending that wish out into the world of wherever it's gonna go next, whatever season you are personally in right now and noticing how your energy wants to hold that. And then our last couple seconds together, just taking some more deep breaths in, hand on your heart, maybe hand on your womb, hand on your head, hand on your throat, hand at the back of your head, one hand on your heart, one hand, and a part of your body that feels important and significant in connecting the dots that we just kind of rolled ourselves through. Maybe both hands on your heart and just letting that kind of come into your body and come into your space. Connecting it with your body, your mind, your heart. And then just kind of putting a wiggle in it. Whatever this was for you today, that's what it was. <laughs> and that's it. I hope it was relaxing, if nothing else. I hope it was a bit joyful. And if it was a bit unpleasant for you, 
that's probably the area that you want to focus just a little bit more on because maybe there's a little nudge there for you so that you can feel safe exploring all the parts of you, exploring the parts of your body, mind, thoughts, heart, emotions, that maybe you've been pushing aside. And maybe now in Libra season is a time to bring those into harmony and not being afraid of that. Again, it's how do you want to feel this month? Not what do you want to do this month? So as I send you off into the world, I'm going to leave you with three prompts. The first one is where do you feel stuck? Where do you feel stuck? Just simply noticing and bringing your awareness there. Maybe there's a journaling prompt in it, or maybe you go for a walk and just, where am I feeling stuck? And just make an honest observation of that. Sincere, compassionate, heartfelt. Don't skirt away from your own truth. This is your own truth. So just answer the question, where do you feel stuck? And then on the next question, where do you not feel stuck? Where do you feel like something is aligned? Where there is a right, a right path. I put that in quotes where you're feeling that you're confident to keep walking that path. Where is that part in your body? What is a, where, where is that part of your mind? How does your spirit or higher self feel about that alignment? Of the place where you are spot on in doing your great thing in the world. We don't ask ourselves that enough. I haven't asked myself that enough recently. And that's the question I'm coming back to is where am I stuck and where am I really aligned? Because then that last question that I leave you with is where is that balance? Do you want more alignment is where you're really aligned, where you should be putting your attention and focus? Or is the thing that's making you feel stuck the place that needs your attention right now? Because this also matters. And staying stuck is preventing you from more, more joyfully fulfilling the alignment that you need. And what, what fits in the middle between them? What's in harmony? And how can that harmony bring you closer to the fulfillment that you're looking for this month? Wow, lots of things coming up, huh? Just as I said that, I felt a whoosh of, yeah, spend some time on the middle way, right, as well. Look at both sides of those coins and see how you can work through that and pick one step that you can take in the next few weeks that will bring the stuckness and the unstuckness into better harmony because we're going into Scorpio season in a few weeks and that's going to bring us deeper down into the truth of what we think we know. So establishing this now in October is preparation for the coming season, zodiac sign wise. So with that, I wish you a happy November, uh, happy November. See, I'm already in November. I wish you a happy October and I'm looking forward to seeing what comes up for you. Put it in the comments. Uh, where do you need some support this month? And I'll also mention that Mindful Writing Mentoring is open. Uh, enrollment is open again. The program will be running from uh, October until June of 2025. I run it sort of on an academic calendar. First time, um, first time mentees have a three month commitment and then it renews monthly after that, but I'll drop in the comments where you can find more information about that. It's always on my way.com backslash writer, W R I T E R always on my way.com backslash writer. That has a lot of information about the mentoring program, uh, it's, which is highly customized one-on-one -on -one, helping you write your story, claim your voice, move through the hurt that may have held you back from telling your story and start getting your manuscript into a really good book form. 
And then there's some other things I'm doing. I'm also doing a walk and talk, 40 minute walk and talk, where if you want to just move through some of your creative stuckness and problem solve as we walk, um, I'll take you for a walk with me in, in our vineyards nearby, not my vineyards, but the town's vineyards. And then there's also a book consultation call if you just want a one-off 90 minute session to, to work through book ideas. So I'll put those links on the bottom below um, in the comments and thanks for being here this month. I'll see you again. Um, I'll be live one more time, probably in October on the Facebook group. I'm also moving some things over to Instagram uh, at Jen Balco. I'll put that in there as well. So I'm, I'm uh, doing a couple different channels right now and I'll see you on the first Monday of November. I don't know what date that is, but the first Monday of November is when we're back here doing the intention setting. So thanks for being here. Thanks for watching the recording and I'll see you really soon. Have a good October.